Yesterday in yet another dementia-riddled moment, he greatly reduced the number of deaths in America during COVID. Here, here was that scene. And there's still, we're still feeling the profound loss of the pandemic, as I mentioned, of over 100 people dead. That's 100 empty chairs around the kitchen table. <laughs> Only 100. Only 100. <laughs> and, and again, the numbers they pushed were wildly inflated and not accurate. Uh, not, not great. Not great to have one death. One death is too many. But when you come from the numbers they've been pushing, and then you come back, and it's like, look, 100 people died. I think that number might be closer to the number that they go with because, again, you always had died of COVID or with COVID. And the with COVID were always lumped into the total number of deaths. So we're never really going to know really exactly what that number is, but it's a lot less than, than people think and what we've been told by our government. Yeah. No, I agree. It is way lower. It's probably higher than 100, but it's but it's not— a hundred million or, you know, everyone died. It's, it's just, it was never what they were pushing. And, uh, but this, I mean, imagine you, you're, you're his, you're his staff, you're his aides and you hear him uh, keeping in mind all the things that he has said throughout the day, throughout that, that event, the stuff we had in the cold open that we showed saying he cured cancer and then saying a hundred people. I mean, you, I, I just can't imagine the amount of, of medication and then alcohol in the evening that these people, again, they don't vote the way we do. They don't like or respect our country, but I do feel for him a little bit because the stuff that he says, is just gotta be like, Oh dear God. Oh dear God. I mean, this is, yeah, I, I could just see someone sitting in the wings and he says that and they're like following through on the speech and they're like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I even write these things anymore? Ah. <laughs> uh. I have something. I'm trying to pull the picture and just so you can see it. But the White House, you know, after every speech, you can go and read, you know, what was said and when there was applauses and stuff. And they've fixed what he said there by, like, scratching it out and putting what the number should actually be. But he can't take back what he said. But so let, let me get let me get the picture and I'll, I'll, okay. I'll tell you. But, of course, that's how you re <clears throat> rewrite history. Literally, they're rewriting history. <laughs> yeah, which there's a clip we're going to get to tomorrow. I don't think we have time to get to today. We've already got a lot of stories put into the queue for tomorrow where Joe's out there saying how we conservatives are trying to rewrite history books and cancel history. Like, what are you paying? Are you serious? Are you are you <laughs> you got to be shitting me, right? You that's <laughs> literally what you guys have been doing. Who's been tearing down the statues, Joe? Not you. I know you're you can't even walk upstairs. You had to go to the small stairs on the damn airplane because you're so weak. But your people are tearing down statues, rewriting history, all that. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, they scratched. Yeah. So they like. So here's the the thing. Well, it's in context. <laughs> yeah. Just let me just make sure. Okay. Here okay. we go. It, it's <laughs> and there's still we're still. Fi First of all, just r writing what he actually ska says is amazing. There's another one where he. I don't know what word he was trying to say, but it, they've typed up parenthetically. That's mm. don't know what he was saying there, but that, but okay, this. So, so yeah. pop this back up. So we and there's still we're still. Feeling the profound loss of the pandemic, as I mentioned, we have over 100 scratch out, scratch out, 1 million people dead. That's 100 <laughs> scratch out, <laughs> 1 million empty <laughs> chairs around the kitchen table. Every single loss, there are so many people left behind and brokenhearted. So the guy throwing the script, uh, Tom, uh, went back and fixed his work. <laughs> Uh, he, he No, he went to the bar. The person <laughs> that's underneath him fixed it. <laughs>